Hi, Bill City, coming at you for Friday's workout. Your question of the day is, bacon and eggs, or is it eggs and bacon? Your warm-up is going to be five minutes running through three of these movements. You have five sit-ups, ten jumping air squats, and 30 low box runners. So for those sit-ups, if you don't have an ab mat, you can grab a rolled up towel or you can use a pillow, anything to support that lower back. Three points of performance, our shoulder blades touch the ground is one, coming back up, touch in front of our toes is two to get the shoulder shoulders through the hip crease, which is our third point of performance. Then we have those jumping air squats. We're gonna drive through those heels, push our knees out on the way down and the way up. And we're gonna try and get below parallel if we can. And then we're gonna come up, pop up, get our feet just up off the ground, just to get a piece of paper under them so we can open our hips. So down, pop, and there's your jump, jump air squat. Then 30 low box runners, you can grab a dumbbell, you can grab a low box like I am right now. Each leg counts as a rep, so we're gonna chuck those feet to that low box or that dumbbell. Each leg counts as one rep, and that is 30 total for those to get our heart rate up into that cardio feel. Then we have a strength. Our strength portion is 12 and a half minutes long for five sets, two and a half minutes per set that we're gonna do for this strength piece. You have two movements that we're working through. So every two and a half minutes, you have 12 alternating dumbbell or kettlebell split snatch or object. You have six on each arm, dumbbell or kettlebell tall plank rows or object. So I'm gonna use an object today to let you guys see what it looks like with an object. So we have the split, alternating split snatch. So you're gonna grab that object off the ground, wherever it is, okay? Whatever arm you are using, so this is alternating, whichever arm you are using that's coming up overhead for that split snatch, that leg, same side, is coming back. So when I have my object, my dumbbell, my object, my kettlebell. I'm gonna come through, use those hips, keeping my chest up and back straight. I'm gonna pop up and split. So this leg, this arm is up overhead, the same side leg goes back into that split. Comes down, I alternate hands, and now the other leg comes back into that split. So same side, same leg goes back. So whichever arm is up, that same leg is the one that's coming back for that split snatch. That alter and then we alternate arms, okay? Then we have the six on each side dumbbell kettlebell or object tall plank row. So you're gonna get yourself into that tall plank. Make sure that we're not able to move our butt around. We're nice and tight and tall. And we take that object and we're gonna bring it back for six on this side, and then move the object over, plant that other hand, six on this side for your tall planks with the row of an object of some sort. Then after that, you guys have a full body sprint workout. You have two seven minute AMRAPs. You're gonna have two separate scores. Your first AMRAP, and your second AMRAP are exactly the same, but you are having two different scores. So you're not picking up where you left off for the second AMRAP after your rest. So your AMRAP is two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, so on and so forth of single arm dumbbell or kettlebell devil's press. And then your mountain climbers climb at 10, 20, 30, 40. So you're gonna do two single arm dumbbell or kettlebell devil's press or object. Then you're gonna do 10 mountain climbers. Then you're gonna do four devil's press. Then you're gonna do 20 mountain climbers. Six, 30, eight, four, so on and so forth. You see the pattern. Then once the seven minutes is up, you have a minute rest, and then you go and do the se second seven minute AMRAP, which is exactly the same. So your goal is to try and get around the same rounds and reps that you got in the first one that you get in the second one. So for these movements, this is what they're gonna look like. The single arm dumbbell or kettlebell or object devil's press is 
you have it, you have your object down on the ground. If it's a dumbbell, kettlebell, whatever, you're gonna come down into that burpee. It's gonna stay out to your side. You're gonna press yourself up and you're gonna swing, keeping that chest up and back straight up into that snatch. So it's basically a burpee to a dumbbell object snatch. Then you're going to alternate. So this is gonna come down over here. You're gonna do that burpee again into that snatch. Try to keep that object close to your body as you use those hips to bring it up overhead. So those are your single arm devil's press. You are going to switch, it's alternating. Don't forget that. Then your mountain climbers. You get into that nice tall plank and your mountain climbers are this quick bringing your knees towards your elbow. So this would be one rep, one, two, three, four, five, and so on and so forth. That is your workout for Friday. It is again, two seven minute AMRAPs, same two movements, and you're gonna climb with those numbers. Yes, pun intended, mountain climbers. Your core finisher for Friday is five minutes, 10 dumbbell slides into max tall plank, okay? So, you're gonna do 10 of these dumbbell slides or object slides, and then you're gonna just stay there for the rest of the time in that tall plank, or for as long as you can for the rest of the time that you have left. So five minutes total. So with these slides, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come into that tall plank, making sure that your feet are wide so you're not gonna weeble wobble, okay? And you're gonna take your hand, grab onto that dumbbell or object, and slide it over. Plant that hand, other hand, slide it over. That is gonna be your alternating dumbbell tall plank slide. And then after you do 10 of those, you're gonna stay in that tall plank nice and tight and ready to stay as long as you can. There you guys go, have fun.